Hello all, Shadwell here, ready to talk about the next film in my collection, Cocaine Bear from 2023. It's directed by Elizabeth Banks and stars Carrie Russell and O'Shea Jackson Jr. We haven't even started the review and I'm afraid I already have to dock this film half a letter grade for casting Isaiah Whitlock Jr. and having his character say shit, but not in his Isaiah Whitlock Jr. fashion that I love so much. Shame. Okay, I know I'm here to review the movie, but the true story is short and very different, so I figured I'd regale you with it quickly. The actual cocaine bear, whether you call it Cokie the Bear or Pablo Escobar, died one day at about 45 minutes after ingesting an overdose of cocaine. There, now we all feel bad because that is a sad fucking story. Aren't you glad they made a raucously outrageous movie where a bear gets high off coke multiple times and goes on a murder spree that includes multiple Emmy Award winners in her wake instead of telling the true story? Yeah, thought you would. I know I do. So, yes, there is the plot as simple as it seems. How the cocaine ends up in the forest is slightly relevant as half the people in the movie are there to retrieve the cocaine, so I'll share that too. From a failed drug drop from an overhead plane and the guy that was supposed to collect it was unavailable. I'll let you watch to fill in all the pieces, but this film is mostly hilarious. You know, until you stop to think about the true story, but keep that out of your mind and you'll be fine. We have lots of laughs and ridiculous levels of gore to help you out in the distraction department. I saw this film way back in February when it premiered in theaters, and then I bought it on physical media when it became available, so so far I've seen the film twice, and I gotta say that the film more or less loses me at about the same time each watch. And that's the gazebo scene. Granted, the premise does start wearing a bit thin by then, the 70 minute mark, and after the gazebo is just the climax of the film that is relatively unimpressive, evil is punished, good triumphs, and Cocaine Bear reigns over all, very much alive with her two cubs by the end of the film. So don't worry there. However, there is some kicking of the bear cubs by the villain, and that's kind of rough to have to see and hear, so be warned of that. And the villain is played by Ray Liotta, rest in peace, in his final performance. Yes, he has appeared in other films since, but this is the last one he filmed before he died in 2022. I'm giving Cocaine Bear a B, and tomorrow, bring your tissues, because I'll be reviewing the film Coco. See y'all then.